know, stepping up in camp and kind of building off that strong freshman year you have. Um, how do you think camp's going for yourself and what type of role do you see yourself having for the team this year? I feel like it's going hard for myself. I feel like only can get better. And I feel like as a team, we're, we're, we're progressing every day. And in some way, some shape or form, like we're getting better as a team each day. And have you been running, you know, with the first team mostly? Or like, where do you see yourself in kind of the pecking order of receivers? Oh, right now I've been running with the, with the first team. Okay. And, you know, coming off of that freshman year, we obviously made some plays. What are you doing to get yourself to kind of take that next step and, and you know, maybe be more of a consistent playmate? Uh, just working hard every day, honestly. Just getting used to having to make one play and come back to it and get better and get my guys with me. So that's it, really. How, how's learning the new offense going, and what's it like to kind of have to do that two years in a row? Um, honestly, it, it, it's it's tough, it, but like as a group, like as a receiver group, quarterbacks, that we're all together, and we're just trying to help each other get each and every day. Just like hey, with extra work with GAs and coaches, we we'll get there. You guys obviously have a lot of options that are tested in that receiver room. Mm -hmm. How has that competition gone so far, and how many guys do you think ultimately could could cycle through and, and be you know? Contributors this year. Honestly, I think all of us can play, and then uh, and when it's just it's great to have a group of guys like that because it, it doesn't let you get comfortable, and, that, and that's for everybody in the room. We all push each other each and every day to, to, to be better, because you know if one day if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, the next guy could be up. So it keeps everybody on their toes. What else do you guys compete in? You play basketball against each other, PlayStation. I mean, <laughs> we compete in everything. Everything we do, like if it's trying to get to the lunch line first, we're, we're competing to do it. So we we, we compete all the time. I don't know if you were asked this when I was out, but um, the year you had last year, you, you had such a splashy start with the, the three touchdowns in the first game, and then there were times where there wasn't. It didn't look like you were you were getting the ball, and then at the end of the year, you, you had some pretty nice games. What was the difference for you between the way the season started and, and the way, way it ended? Um, honestly, just consistency. Like and that's that's on me. I, I can honestly say, like, I, I just. Got the got my practice habits better towards the end of the year and started like focusing on the, the smaller details and things within my route within the play. If it was like even if it was for me to get somebody else open, like I was understanding that and I feel like that kind of helped me towards the end of the year. Terrell was in here last week when we talked about the, the last play of the Ohio State game. What do you remember about that and how much have you kind of replayed that both in your mind and how much have you watched it? I, re I remember everything about the play honestly. Uh, it's, I, I try not to watch it that much, like unless I need like a little push to, to give me an edge on, on a workout, on a, on a practice day, something. I, I try to watch it to go back to give me a little boost, and I just that's what it is. And I know that um, you know you with DJ Moore here uh, every day for practice. Did you get a chance to talk to him at all, and you know what kind of advice has he given you? What have those conversations been like? Uh, I, I ain't really talked to him much, but he, he just joking around really on the sideline. Like I talked to him for like a minute or two, and I had to go right back in. And it wasn't really much. He was just joking around. He's just seeing what's up and how I was doing type, type of thing. Uh, obviously, he's on the other side of the ball, but what have you seen from Keandre Jones in terms in terms of his leadership? A uh, great leader, like tremendous leader. Like he, he'll tell you honestly. He'll say like, if you need somebody to talk to off the field, on the field about whatever, school, girlfriend, football, he'll he'll be the guy that you can go talk to. And he's brought really good leadership. Honestly, like these past couple months, he's been he's a, he's a great leader. Does it is it? Mind you of what what Trey did last year coming in. Yeah, he he's I feel like he's a little more vocal than Trey, but um, as to everybody, but I feel like Trey was a great leader to the defense, and he he talked to those guys. But Dre, I feel like Dre like gets like in the locker room. He's more of a, like on deep on the field. Dre talks to the uh, to the defense mostly, but like in the locker room and stuff, he'll get around and talk to like some of the offensive guys. And yeah, I feel like he's, they're both great leaders though. And Coach Loxley is obviously. Uh, made his name on the offensive side. What have you seen from his and Cook and from these scheme that you like and where you see yourself fitting in? Uh, I just, I, I, I like this scheme. I just think, I think it fits all of our receivers, honestly. Like, I feel like we all can, with what he does, we all fit well with the scheme and, like, fast pacing. Like, we, we'll make plays and get up and make another one. And, you know, how comfortable do you feel, you know, in this offense compared to last year's? And, you know, how is that atmosphere a bit different this year, you know, under Coach Loxley? Um, I wouldn't say I feel more comfortable in one or the other. I feel like it just kind of experienced my game because I, I can say I played in the offense. I can say I played in this one. Hmm. Well, so far I have. Um, I, just, I feel like it's just uh, adding another tool to my roster, honestly. What, what do you sense about Terrell at this point and how settled he feels as he heads into, into his junior year? Um, 
Can you restate that? Yeah. Sorry. Just how settled do you feel like Terrell is like, um, just kind of, you know, last year obviously he kind of was in and out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Did you, do you get a sense from him that he feels a little more assertive at this point? Yeah, I, I feel like this offense uh, fits him a little better than mm-hmm. the one we, we were in last year. And I feel like he, he feels just comfortable with the play calls and the schemes and, and, and a lot of the, the things that we're doing. I feel like he's, he's a little more comfortable. Are so, you going to miss the jet sweep? <laughs> uh, I probably will a little bit, yeah. Coach mentioned Coach mentioned the other day that he, he, he's sort of disappointed that the offense has not picked up, yeah. has not been as consistent as he'd like it to be. What what has been the biggest sticking point in terms of that getting that consistency, not only for yourself but for the whole group? Um, it's just it's just things like w- with us personally, like it, and it's not even really big things. He'll probably he could probably tell you that. It's not like huge mistakes. It's just like like mental errors and just like later in practice locking in and, and focusing on the on the little details. And I like that. That's what the focus has been these last couple pra- practices. Is kind of like they're keeping holding your water to like at the end of practice and being able to lock in and, and play the have the same energy you had in the first period in the last. How much more film are you watching this year already? I mean, are you watching like? Alabama film to, uh, to see what their yeah. receivers are doing. Yeah, so I, I've been watching a little, a little of their film, and add like as we're getting long, like later in the spring, I try to go back and not watch as much of their film and try to watch ours and, and kind of compare it and see and see what they're doing differently than what we're doing. And how would you compare the the two schemes from this year last year? What are the uh, biggest differences? Um. Honestly, it's, it's like this day, like last year, we huddled up every play. This year, we we, we rarely do, and uh, they like last year we ran a lot of motions to mess with the backers and make mm-hmm. sure they they stuck to their keys. And and, and this year, I feel like we, we kind of uh, we just like we're opening it up a little more than we did last year. Honestly, is this the playbook bigger this year? Uh, you see, nah, I wouldn't say no. It's it's not it's not as big as the one we got last year. No. And, you know, I've heard that a lot of players on the team watch Game of Thrones. Are you part of that group? And, you know, how does that help you guys kind of bond off the field? Honestly, I'm, I'm not a part of that group, but I heard it's good. I'll probably, I'll probably start sometime soon after spring ball because, like, like you asked about the film, there's so much film and you got to be in your playbook. So. What's go, the, oh, go ahead. What's, what's the process like um, building the relationships with the new assistant coaches when these aren't the guys who recruited you and it's just a, it's a brand new staff? Uh, honestly, it, it, it's 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 been a lot smoother than I thought it would be. Um, just cause it, after like change, I, I I talked to my mom about it and she was like she was telling me change is good. And going back to high school, I had four different head coaches in four years, so uh, it, it's not it's not too hard for me to adjust. And I just it's just it's, I like it because it's different. You get to see, I don't I mean you get to see different things, different coach styles. You get to take what you want to take from this coach and this coach and kind of put it all together. Did you have any existing relationships with any of them through recruiting or from you know, other schools at all, or did you? Uh, not really. Okay. No, no. Going back to last year when you had the success you had the first game, um, was it just a matter of obviously defenses became aware of you pretty quickly, and and, and also do you feel as if it you know maybe you thought it was going to come easy or something like that? Maybe you didn't you know lock in and practice as much. I mean, what what would you say? I just feel like it, it was like a, a lot of things. We, when we went in the game last year, we kind of knew what we were, we wanted to do, and I feel like after that first game, it, like those next couple of games, it, like it wasn't much of a like a, a, a pad. Like we weren't going in knowing we, we knew we weren't going to throw the ball that, that as much as we did the first game. I feel like it was more of like a, a a run mindset going into it. But I mean, I like like I said before, I feel like it was, it was kind of my fault a little bit also, uh, not paying attention to the smaller things and, and the little details uh, in practice. Time for two more. And how would you compare uh, Coach Canada's and Coach Lotsley's communication style and leadership styles? Um, they're both great leaders, honestly. Um, just Canada's was a little different, just because the position he came in and like he was the he was the coordinator one day and the very next he's the head coach. So it was kind of like, well, like so it was. Yeah, I feel like they're both great leaders and, and Lots is bringing us together as one and and, and, and preaching that family atmosphere. What what were the winter workouts like uh, after what happened last year? Did you find that there was a difference in the intensity or in the? A couple of guys have talked about workouts being more positive. There was more positive reinforcement than there had been. Sure. Uh, yeah. I, I guess. I guess there was more positivity. I guess. Sure. Mm-hmm.
Thanks, Jason. Thanks. Thanks, Jason.